In this video, we're going to look at how to find the area of a compound shape. So here we've got some examples of compound shapes, and compound shapes are just shapes that have been put together to form another shape. And so here you can see that you've got two rectangles, here a rectangle and a triangle, here a rectangle and a semicircle, and here a rectangle and a triangle. So these are all examples of compound shapes. And to find the area of them, what you would do is split them into their small, smaller shapes and find the area of each one, and then add them all together. So here, these are some important formulae that you need to know. So the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. The area of a triangle is half the base times the height, or the base times the height and then halved. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. There's other areas that you might want to know. That's the area of a parallelogram and the area of a trapezium. And they both can be found in corporate maths on the website. So here we've got our first, our first example. So the first question says, find the area of this shape. And it's an L shape. And it's as you can see, it's two rectangles. Now what we're going to do is, before we start this one, let's find the missing sides. So we know the base, the whole thing is 15 across, and this is six. That must mean that this is gonna be nine centimeters because six plus nine would give me the 15, which is the whole width across. The height, the whole thing is eight centimeters tall, and if this is three centimeters, that must mean that this bit's going to be five centimeters because five plus three is equal to eight. That's it, so then the missing side's labeled. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it. Now we could split it down vertically here, or and that would give us two rectangles and we could find the area of each, or you could also split it across horizontally. It wouldn't matter because if you find the area of each one and add them together, you'll get the same total overall. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of each of these rectangles. So let's call this rectangle one and this one rectangle two. So for rectangle one, the area is equal to the length times the width. Now, whenever you've got a compound shape, it's easy to get the wrong measurement for the length for the, or the width. So what I tend to do is to trace around the outside of the shape with my pencil, and then what I can do is I can see what the length and the width are quite clearly. So if I trace around the shape, I can see that 15 is gonna be the length of the rectangle, and three is gonna be the width of the rectangle. The nine is only part of the length, or part of the length here, and the eight would go beyond the width of it. So it's just gonna be 15 is the length, and three is the width. So I'm gonna do 15, times three, which is equal to 45 centimeters squared. So this section, this rectangle one, this section one, uh, has an area of 45 centimeters squared. Section two, rectangle two. Here, so the, again, area is equal to length times width. So that's gonna be the length of it. So again, let's trace around there. So the length is gonna be six, and the width is going to be five. The eight goes beyond it, and that's it really. So we're gonna do six times five, and six times five will give me 30 centimeters squared. So this is an area of 30 centimeters squared. So there the whole shape would be, if I add these together, the area would be 75 centimeters squared. We just add them together, and that's it. So there, if this shape was 75 centimeters squared. Okay, our next example. So our next question has a rectangle with a triangle attached to it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to split it up. Now this one, it makes sense to split it down vertically like so, and to get the area of the rectangle, one, and the triangle two. So one, the rectangle. The area is equal to the length times the width. Again, it's easy to pick up the wrong number in this, so let's just make sure. Well, the length of it is nine, and the width of it is six. So it's going to be nine times six, which is equal to, equal to 54 centimeters squared. So that's the area of the, the first section. The first rectangle is 54 centimeters squared. Now we're gonna find the area for the triangle. So the area for the triangle is half the base times the height, or the base times height, and then divided by two. So area of half the base times the height. So we need to find what the base and the height of that triangle is going to be. So the base is clearly three. We can see that the base is three. So it's going to be a half of three times the height. Now the height is this part here, the height of the triangle. Now as you can see, the whole height of the whole shape is nine centimeters, and the height of this part is five. So it must mean that this is four centimeters here. So the base of the triangle is three, and the height of the triangle is four. So we're gonna do three times four, which is 12, and then half it, which will be six centimeters squared. So three times four is 12, and half it will be six centimeters squared. So the area of the rectangle is 54, the area of the triangle is uh, six centimeters squared. We add them together, 54 plus six, which would be equal to 60 centimeters squared. And that's the area of that whole shape. Okay, two more questions. Next one. It says, the area of this compound shape is 125 centimeters squared. Find X. So this one's a bit different. We've been given the area overall, and we've got to find out this missing length here. Now again, you can split it anywhere, but for me, this uh, question makes sense to split it vertically this way. 
The reason why I'd split it that way into the two rectangles would be we can get the area of this one really easily. Okay, if I had split it across here, I don't know what number to times seven by, and it's a bit more complicated. So sometimes there will be a certain way which sort of makes sense to split it. Okay, so the left hand rectangle. 7 times 11 would be 77 centimeters squared. So the area of that rectangle is 77 centimeters squared. Now the whole shape is 125. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the 77 from 125 to see what's left. And whenever I do that, I do 125, take away 77. That gives me 48 centimeters squared. So 48. So that means that the area of this one has to be 48 centimeters squared because these two areas must make 125. Now, finally, we know that this one here is x, and we're going to times it by 6 to get 48. So we just need to figure out what do we times 6 by to get to 48. Well, 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 centimeters. And that's it, because 6 times 8 is 48. And that's it. So this length here must be 8 centimeters. Okay, now last question. Quite often with compound shapes, you might ask be questions to do with fields. It might be to do with animals like chickens or cows. You might be painting walls. It could be that they're uh, seeding grass or something like that. Um, so what, I've, got, I've got a question here which is to do with some chickens, uh, just to sort of show you how to attempt these ones. So shown is the plan of a small field. So we've got this small field here, which is a rectangle and a triangle. Uh, so let's we're probably going to need to find the area of that. I was just going to split it here. Um, and it says Thomas is going to keep some chickens in the field. Each chicken needs five meters squared. It says work out the greatest number of chickens that Thomas can keep in the field. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of this rectangle here. We're going to find the area of this triangle. And then we're going to add them together to get the area of the whole field. And then we're going to divide that by five because each chicken will need to have five meters squared. And that'll tell us the number of chickens that can be kept in the field. So the area of the rectangle. So the rectangle is going to be, well, let's call that one and the triangle two. For the shape part one, the rectangle, the area is equal to the length times the width. The length of the rectangle is 20, and the width of the rectangle is 14. And when you times those two together, you get 280 meters squared. So there, this is 280 meters squared. Now we need to do the triangle. So remember, the area of a triangle is equal to half the base times the height, half the base times the height, or half the base and then times the height. Um, so. The base of the triangle, so as you can see here, we don't actually have a measurement here for the base of the triangle, but we do know that the bottom of the rectangle, this measurement is 20. That must mean that the top of the rectangle is 20 as well. That means the base of the triangle is 20. The height of the triangle is 10, so we're going to do half of 20 times 10. Well, 20 times 10 is 200, and half is 100 meters squared. So that must mean that the area of the whole field, well, that's going to be 280 plus 100, is equal to 380 meters squared. And that's the area of the whole field. And now we just need to divide it by 5, because that's how much space each chicken need, needs. So for each, every single 5 meters squared, we can keep one chicken. So we're just going to do 380 divided by 5. So we're just going to work this out using the bus shelter method. So 380 divided by 5. 5 into 3, 0, remainder 3. 5 into 38 goes 7 times, remainder 3, and 5 into 30 goes 6 times. So you can keep 76 chickens. That's it. So to find the area of a compound shape, what I would recommend is that you split the shape into the two smaller uh, shapes. You might need to find missing sides, and then get the areas of each of those, and then add them up, and that's it.